Hey, welcome back AP World people. We're back with video number 29, topic 5.3, the beginning of the Industrial Revolution. And this screams to me a short answer question or essay topic, but we got you covered. Let's get going. All right, topic 5.3 focuses on the beginning of the Industrial Revolution, particularly environmental factors that allowed for the Industrial Revolution to begin in Great Britain. So what was the Industrial Revolution? Well, it's increased mechanization or machine use of production and this began in Great Britain. Very important to know both of those, what it is and where it began. All right, so life in England prior to the revolution, you have the cottage industry system. And this is where women often made textiles in their homes in Britain with raw cotton provided by merchants. So women, instead of working in factories, would work in their homes, and that would all change with the Industrial Revolution. So reasons for the Industrial Revolution include proximity to waterways, geographical distribution of coal, iron, and timber, urbanization, improvements in agriculture, legal protection of private property, access to foreign resources, and accumulation of capital, which is money. And all of those are specifically listed. All seven of them are listed in the AP World Curriculum, so make sure you can identify and describe them if need be. So proximity to waterways, Britain had an abundance of rivers, harbors, and access to the ocean. Britain is an island, if you remember, with lots of water surrounding it. This allowed for raw materials and finished goods to be easily transported, and the water was also used in factories too. The geographical distribution of coal, iron, and timber was also important because Britain was located atop of coal deposits and this would be used to power the steam engine in factories and on ships and later on railroads. Iron allowed for the production of bridges, buildings, specifically factories and ships, and timber was used to build ships for the transport of goods. Urbanization happens, this is a result of the Industrial Revolution, and this occurs due to, in large part, the enclosure movement, which is when the government fenced off common land and it forced the migration of many farmers to move to cities for jobs. A lot of farmers could not afford to buy their own land, so this land was sold to wealthy individuals, less land for farmers, so they had to find a new job, so many moved to cities to work in factories. And a large labor force in these cities was used to work in these factories. We have improved agricultural productivity. Crop rotation was used, and this is rotating the production of crops, which allowed for increased crop production. More crops equals a larger population with less farmers, which equals more workers for factories. And you also have the invention such a, invention such as the seed drill, which placed seeds in the ground in an efficient manner, and this increased the production of crops as well. Legal protection of private property was an important cause of the Industrial Revolution. Britain protected businesses and private property. Not every state did this, but Britain was one that did, and the government or other businesses could not take away a business. So business owners had security in knowing that their businesses would not be taken away by either the government or a competing business. And this will encourage production of goods. Access to foreign resources was important. Britain had many overseas colonies with an abundance of natural resources. In America, you have timber, which was used to build ships we talked about earlier, and also cotton from India, that raw material that would be produced into textiles. Finally, we have accumulation of capital, which is when entrepreneurs had significant money, which they reinvested in businesses and invented more efficient technology. So they would reinvest their profits into the business to make even more money. All right, quick recap. Make sure you know all the reasons for the Industrial Revolution. And as I said, this screams to me a great short answer question or essay topic. All right, guys, look forward to see you back here for video number 30. Topic 5.4, continuing with the Industrial Revolution. Thanks for watching. Best of luck this year and have a good day.